evening, folks. All this, well, it's morning, so not evening. I'm just used to seeing evening. Morning. Uh, all this 51 here. Um, and today, I want to discuss the I that's all over YouTube, on the internet, and people are saying that it is a alien opening in the earth. Um, it's not an alien opening in the earth. I mean, yeah, I think if you're an alien, you've got better places to hide than in a marsh. You know, yeah, I won't rock down the park as an alien and think, you know what? I'm going to camp there, make a little hole in the ground, make an opening, perfect hiding spot. You'd go to the ocean or somewhere like that, wouldn't you, where it's, uh, you know, undiscovered. Uh, or the moon, the dark side. Um, Pink Floyd. Love that band. Uh, anyway, to the eye. So, this has a Kickstarter uh, for these bell ends, which I'm about to show you in a moment. That I want in $50,000 of your hard earned cash to go out there, snorkel about round this little circle and uh, probably smoke a few bifters on the grass and have a few glasses of vino or beer or whatever they're doing um, on your $50,000 and it's already got 5902 and last night I did a video on this but I was a bit drunk so I deleted it because it did not make any sense whatsoever because I was, I was Looking at this uh, Kickstarter, I was a bit peeved off about it. So now I'm sober, um, I'm doing the video about it. Uh, I might put some bits of last night's video at the end. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this uh, Kickstarter, I'm going to play it for you. Um, and I'll, well, I'll just show you, this is the, the eye in, I think, it, yeah, Argentina, wherever it is. Um, and we'll just do my little trick where we go back in time for you. We'll take it to 2003, this channel, uh, this guy, whatever, Bellend mentions 2003 when the first footage of it. You can see there, I mean, you can see that this is not a lid of an entrance because it's mounted there. Now, these marshes, I'm not very technical, I'm not very scientific, you know this from watching my channel, I just put my thoughts out there, leave your thoughts down there as well on this, if you think it's an alien, I'll point you over to Security Intense channel, um, but yeah, the uh, you can see that that has mounted, it's it's overlapped, it's come on, because it's floating about, it's marsh that's got soggy, and if you roll, a piece of blue tack in your hand long enough it will go round so this is obviously separated over time probably wasn't round. it wasn't round to start off with and it's over the years and years and years it's just gradually rounded off that's what's happened it's not alien um, and you can see that it's it is floating about and moving about and changing its angle and spinning round as you go through um, the image but yeah without further ado let's uh i need to get a better camera thing other than this imac thing i will do i'll get some editing stuff guys uh, uh not very not professional am i right let's play it hi i'm sorry to be he wants fifty thousand dollars about six months ago we were working of a horror film, supposedly based on real stories about UFOs, mysterious lights, extraterrestrial beings, ghostly creatures, and other paranormal stories. The stories are unrelated to each other, but they share one the bell end. Common, that they all occur on a mysterious island. We discovered that it was an excellent setting to shoot the film, and also that the surrounding matched those present in supernatural stories told by locals. When locating these references in the map, we discovered something unexpected that left the film project in the background. We call it the eye. 
I've watched it about four times. I love it. Using the time slider tool of Google Earth, we discovered that the center circle moves and rotates on its own axis. You can check it by yourself, entering this coordinated into Google Earth and sliding Historica Imasharika. The first available picture of this region is from July 2003, and the eye was already there. Bum, bum, bum. What we don't know is. How long had the eye been there? What caused this weird formation? Why does it move? How can it last for so long intact without deforming? How is it possible that having no water current, aquatic plants don't grow up and cover it entirely? At this point, there were too many questions. Because it's, this it's the same as all this terrain. Show me the money. It's gonna get an Oscar. This. We made our first overland expedition with some quiet, in which the impenetrable vegetation and the swamps left us at only 900 yards from the cycle, completely south. Why is it going to cost them $50,000 to do that? The island from another point, this time without the quiet, for the sole purpose of arriving no matter what. After eight hours of walking through Does this not path, annoy you that... <laughs> People can do this now. They can get your hard-earned cash by just making a Kickstarter. The gaming community this do this as well. Amazing and extremely strange. We discovered that the water is incredibly clear and cold, something totally unusual in the area. The bottom is I don't know the scientific term the why that's happened. Surrounding it. One of you will. The part floats. We didn't know over what, but it floats. Now that we saw more. We are more intrigued than ever. When I saw the images, I was amazed. Look at how many times this cuts. Away from the eye for 20 years. I've done a lot of field work in this area. I've never seen such a thing. Cool. This play really deserves a deep investigation. And there is way cool. I found the final set and be free to share the results. It's using Kickstarter. We want to return with a scientific expedition, having this I think you felt guilty. Geologist, biologist, ufologist, specialized in drones and more. We want to take samples Basically, want to buy loads of toys, yeah, for Christmas, and it's on you. We want to know what's hiding down the eye and discover its secrets. We want a bell end. It even looks like a bell end. His head looks like a bell end. We plan to make a movie with all the material from the expedition organization to the final evaluation of the samples at the lab. We need you to be part of this adventure. We need you to give us fifty thousand dollars. And watch live as we unfold the mystery surrounding the eye. An opportunity exclusive for the project's country. An opportunity for them. It's a concrete, strange phenomenon located in an inaccessible place that had never been before reached by man. Join us and be the first to discover it. Yeah. So, what do we think? This I well, I'll tell you the a lot of the YouTube channels. Um, I'm seeing this. Um, I haven't seen that on Scott C. Wearings. Uh, but however, it is on his website and he's been mentioned again in the Mail Online. So here we go. Where is it? Let me find you. Um, the Bell End of Bell Ends. Uh, where is it? Du, du, du. Come on. I found it earlier. I did. You can see them bell ends there. It was mentioned. I may have to cut this bit because I'm making a bit of a dick out of myself. Um, but anyway, he's put this out. Um, and mentioned it. It's on his 
UFO thingy daily, whatever it is, daily Scott's daily dose of uh, UFO madness. Um, and yeah, it's also been mentioned on none other than Secure Team Ten's channel, which I'll play for you now. Another very anomalous story that's been the web lately is, is with regards to this uh, strange floating island in Argentina. You're seeing the Google Maps view here, and I will put the coordinates to this down in the video description. Fucking but love this eye. There's been a lot of news lately over the past few days surrounding my this strange, uh, what they're calling a floating island, which some are saying is a secret entrance to an underground alien base of some sort. And that this ring of land, which really just doesn't belong there, will open up at times. And it was just by luck that the satellite snapped a picture of it on Google Earth while it was opening. Now, of course, it could be natural, uh, but we don't know at this point how the island got there, uh, what is causing it to float like that, and what's in the waters underneath it. There's actually some uh, people who are trying... I'll stop you there, Tyler. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to play this. And I, it's pro this video's not... I mean, it's not alien, is it? So it's not alien news. It's not UFO news. But it is... In our community, and this might explain what this island is, because I've gone and done my research on it. Fair enough, it's not round, but it's a pretty cool video, nevertheless. This you can only get to Labatin Weaver's home by boat, and it's not always in the same place because he lives on a floating island that drifts around Lake Victoria in Uganda. He's one of about 10 men who live here, they call the island Mirembe. For them, it has a spiritual significance. Floats. John Rastafari means the head creator. And we, people who live on Jaja Mirembe, we are the followers of the head creator. So we are ready to go whenever the waves carry us. Because we know we are protected by the spring power. <laughs> Lavatin's a Rastafarian and reggae musician. You better set free the Rasta man. He also runs a community group that helps homeless people. Others here just happen to be farming on the. Oh, look at that there. Circle. Somebody go to Google Earth, find that floating island, find that little circle, and tell the internet aliens have landed. Before it first broke off the mainland just over a year ago. It's about 20 acres and covered in crops. On the, on the mainland, environmental scientist Jeffrey Kamese explained that a layer of soil and vegetation can build up on the surface of the swamps around the lake. That's how it Rising works. the water level can cause chunks to break off, but they're rarely as large as Mirembe. It has never been safe uh, for inhabit, uh, to be inhabited, neither is it safe for agriculture because I want to live time, there. It can give way and people can die uh, in the process. Or fear of sinking. It's also I destroyed Jesse's boats when drifting quick sand. into the lake shores. True story. Lavatin told us the owner of one time. damaged lakeside mansion suggested using explosives to blast the island into smaller, controllable pieces. Lavatin and the residents didn't agree. Ja, you are the almighty. You guide me day and night. You are my shining light through my darkest night. And they say they don't believe it will sink. It feel basically he's saying there he, it, it, there'll be hell to pay if you blow my house up. Firm to walk on, although some parts of it are quite swampy. There's some puddles of water here. No one really knows how thick it is, but the people living here think that there's just a couple of meters of earth beneath us. Moses Kygo lived here since before it became an island. He says Isn't it amazing how some people it's live? It's fantastic. It's not easy. My family is suffering. They depend on me. I cannot just leave our crops to float away. That is why I move with it, so I can earn a little money to send home. That is amazing. Um, but yeah, um, it's it's all over. Oh, I need a new razor. Um, the internet at the minute, this Kickstarter, $50,000. Um, I just think it's absolutely wrong. Um, and, you know, if you one of them that wants to pay them... Oh, there you go, there you go. I found it, I found it, I found it. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, a film crew has yet to state that I... 
is I've read halfway through a sentence there. Anyway, um, Scott C. Waring from UFO Sightings Daily believes it is a hidden, is is high, oh, it's hiding dyslexia, uh, an underwater alien base. What a bell end, Scott. They will not hide in a marsh and make it blatantly obvious if they are. Wh why would they hide anyway? You know, I'm sure that these aliens have enough technology that they could just hide anywhere. Um, I mean, who knows what they are? I mean, I do believe in this stuff. There is aliens out there. I believe in that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have this channel. But, you know, I may if I'd have seen this myself, I may have put this out there. Just a little cool little find. Because I do that sometimes. I'll put, like, stuff that I've seen on Mars and... What have you? I don't necessarily preach that it is a hundred percent. Although some of my findings on Mars, if you go back through my old videos, are pretty damn cool. Um, but I don't preach that it is, you know, alien and what have you. Um, I, I would like to know your thoughts on this. What do you think? Do you think this is some sort of alien base, or like me, do you think that this Kickstarter of the eye it, that is, you know? Wanting not Jesus Christ, that's just gone up. If you go back through the video, that was on five thousand something. Someone's someone's giving them a hundred quid or something. Bell ends. Stop giving them money. Honestly, this is it. It peeves me off. If you want to give money to something, give money to I don't know, children that you know are, are dying and things like that. Something decent. Don't give money. To a Kickstarter for somebody to go sit on an island with, you know, a keg of beers, having a laugh on you, it, it's, it's pissed me off. Um, this guy's on LinkedIn. Someone can go check. I can't even be bothered to check it out. Um, you know, there's some comments of what people are putting. This is awesome. I wish everyone backs it up. So we can see the results of the investigations. I tell you something, that's just going to be a video of four blokes getting pissed. Anyway, I'm always 51. Like, uh, well, I'm not bored if you like it. Subscribe, keep up with me, um, and share, share this out. If Share this to the channels that are putting this out. Share this to these Kickstarter wankers and all the other people that are putting this out as you know that it's alien this give scott a bit of this sorry scott but you are a bit of a bell end anyway see you later folks i'd say good night god bless but it's not night but i will say mind the bugs don't bite um i'm going to discuss the uh, little hole thing that's in argentina um it's an excellent setting to shoot the phone and also that the surrounding match those present in supernatural stories told by locals. Relocating these references in the map, we discovered something unexpected that end. left the film project in the background. We call it Yai. Yai is a circle of light. Ja, you are the almighty, you guide me day and night. You are my shining light through my darkest night. And they say, so basically saying you're not blowing up my house. Rightly so, rightly so. Yeah, anyway, le let me know what you think to this bollocks because <laughs> it's not a floating um, alien door or whatever they're calling it. it. It's just a bit of marsh that's round and it floats. Weather. Anyway, bit knackered now. So, good night, go breast. Breast? God bless, not God's breath, not, yeah. Mm. Yeah, mind the bugs don't bite, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you later. And uh, what a bell end Kickstarter wants $50,000. 50, what a dick. <laughs>